It was a developing situation in Virginia Beach where the bomb squad burned five sticks of dynamite. Those sticks were found in an abandoned car. Now, it all began at 11 o'clock this morning when someone found that dynamite on Dreary Lane near the Hilltop Shopping Center. Police say that the homeowner put those five sticks in the trunk of his car some 30 years ago. And since then, the car hasn't moved. The man's family found that dynamite this morning. They called the fire department. Crews then dug a hole, put the explosives inside, set it on fire, and they had no issues doing that. Police say the man will not face any charges. Fort Monroe, a national treasure. That is the plan when President Obama signs off on a national monument designated for the former Army post. Now, the fort closed last month as part of the 2005 BRAC decision. Ten on your side, Zava Hurdle is live now, and she's telling us what this actually means for the people who still live there. Ava. Alvito, people who live in the historic homes here will get to stay, but those renting apartments here, well, that's another story. For the Hurricane Irene damaged Weary Apartments, it appears time may have finally run out. Weary Apartments are in the process of being deoccupied, and by the time the National Park Service gets here, the Weary Apartments will be, will be vacant. That's about 40 families left in the more than 100 apartments. Elsewhere on the former post are close to 200 historic homes. Those who live here now and those who continue to lease at Fort Monroe, who lease homes, will get to stay in their homes and homes will continue to be available for lease. And the mayor expects those homes to become even more valuable when Fort Monroe becomes a national monument. How cool would it be to live in a historic home right next to a national monument that encompasses you know, beautiful historic buildings and miles of pristine, undisturbed beachfront that you now know will stay that way in perpetuity. And community leaders remain excited about this plan because they say it will bring jobs to this area. We're live in Hampton, Ava Hurdle, 10 on your side. The Army held a DIV activation ceremony for Fort Monroe on September the 15th. And